Hey kids, it's Sunshine. Today I have another haul video for you. These are items that I've sourced over the past week to sell on various platforms like eBay, Poshmark, and Macari. And I have a whole lot of stuff, so let's just get into it. Oh, by the way, it's 103 degrees here today and it's only like one o'clock, so yeah. Okay, so I was walking down the aisle and I spotted this and I thought, is that Levi's? So I looked at the tag, the tag is blank and it has an extra large or extra, extra large. So I was looking at the buttons and I saw Strauss, but I couldn't see anything else. I even had the Goodwill uh, employee at checkout looking and she couldn't tell either, but this is a really cool trucker denim jacket with all this destruction. It's got the fringe. My guess is this is an upcycled piece, but I don't know because the tag isn't there, so. But it's a good size, it's in good condition, and I'm hoping that sucker will bring $50, but we'll just have to wait and see. They found some shoes. I got these little babies for $5 and they're brand new. So they are Foot Joy Europa Collection. So they're tan and white. They've got a kilty. I've only seen kilties on boots. Or back when my dad was golfing, maybe. These might even be vintage. I don't know. But they are in brand new condition with tags. Here's the other one. Hopefully I can get them listed soon. Because, you know, golf season's already in session out here. And I forget what size these are. And I'm sure it doesn't say on there. Okay, they're a 9M. Whether they're men's or women's, I don't know. Because I haven't done any research on them yet. <clears throat> but I'm hoping those will bring at least 35. Then I found Cactus Bay. Now, I thought Cactus Bay only made t-shirts, but this is a dress. So this is Cactus Bay in a size large. It's new without tags. It's their normal tie-dye, stretchy cotton knit. This one has um, chili peppers on the front and embellishments, and it's dated. I forget what it's dated, 1990-something. Looks like 99. So it's dated 1999. Definitely vintage. It's a full-length maxi. It's got the tie back. So hopefully at least $30 for that. Then I found something I knew nothing about, but it felt like quality, and it's wool. So this is, um, I'm not going to be able to pronounce this, Swan Dry, with two M's, Swan Dry maybe, in a size large, out of New Zealand. It's a company in New Zealand. So it's a full zip wool jacket with all the pockets, and then it's got this insulated lining. It doesn't come out, but it's an insulated lining in excellent condition. So I did some research on it. See these in the back where it's adjustable? I thought it was a women's, but it's actually a men's. And I did some research on it and hopefully this will bring like $100. So that was a good score. <clears throat> and then I stopped really looking at bras, but this color caught my eye. So I was looking at it looks in really good condition. And then I saw this tag, these tags. And I'm like, what? I couldn't figure it out. But then, let me see if I could find it. I found this little thing, which you're probably not gonna be able to see. And it says Savage. And I thought, is this Rihanna's line? So it's Savage and Fenty, a lace bra, underwire, in excellent condition. And I have never found anything of hers in the wild, so I have no clue what this is gonna bring. But I found two. This one is new without tags. The other one I think is gently loved. So I can't wait to look this up and see what it'll bring, hopefully at least 30. Then I spotted this. It's one of those days where I'm walking down the aisle, this is standing out by itself going, Ooh how beautiful 
is that. This is a linen, heavily embroidered skirt. It's got birds on it. It's got butterflies. And what's even better? Wait for it. It is Nuba Tags. It is Calypso, who I've never heard of, in a size large, and the tag on this is $295. Must be something. I haven't looked it up yet, but this skirt is so stinking cute and so unique that I'm hoping for $75, but like I said, I haven't looked up comps. I don't know anything about it. I just know it's beautiful such a beautiful piece and it was just standing there beckoning to me <clears throat> okay then I found Sundance in a medium this is a pretty lightweight sheer bell sleeves with all the embroidery it's like a tunic or you could wear it as a mini dress but it's pretty short and it's got this cool scalloped hem and then it's lined so beautiful. Love finding Sundance. And all that pretty embroidery. So hopefully at least 40 for that. Then I found some jeans. Now there's going to be quite a few pairs of jeans here because they were all together. So the first pair is, I mean, the first one is True Religion in a size I can't tell. In a size, I can't tell. Okay, I don't know. Okay. I know the size is in here. I just can't figure it out. But anyway, so it's True Religion jeans. Dark wash, probably low rise. Got the horseshoe pockets. In excellent condition. So there were these. That's number one. And I paid up for these, and I never pay $10 for jeans, ever. But I did today, because there was a bunch of them. Then I found some new tags, Q Baby, which I've never found them new with tags. So these are Q Baby in a size 9, 10 by 36, new with tags, Wrangler, dark wash. They look to be low rise too. So they have the back embroidered pockets with some studs. They're straight leg, which cracks me up every time I find these because they're riding jeans. You'd think they'd be boot cut, but nope, they're straight leg. So now the used ones I sell, I usually sell between 20 and 25. So these I'm hoping maybe 35, but we'll just have to wait and see. Then I found a pair of Rock Revival. So these are Rock Revival Andre Straight in a size 36. And you would think they are in excellent condition, but just wait for it. So there's your back pockets. And I picked them up anyway, knowing this. Somebody cut them off. So they're cut off with the fringe hem. And I'm taking a chance on these because I don't know if they're going to sell. I'm hoping. Because, you know, they'll either work for a short man or, you know, somebody that wants to wear crop jeans. So, you guys will just have to stay tuned and find out if I can sell those. And if so, what I can sell them for. So, then the next pair, all these were together, I'm telling you. And what's funny is they were in the women's section. Some of them are men's. So these are Affliction in a size 34 by 34. I got these because, yep, they got all them skulls on the pockets and embroidered spider webs on the back ones. Anything like this, I'm going to pick up. I don't care. Luckily, these have the hem. <laughs> And they're a black wash, so I don't know. I haven't sold Affliction in a while, but hopefully because of those skulls, that will bring at least 40. Let me see. Did I find one more? Yep. Actually, there's more than that. 
Okay, so here's another pair of affliction. These are in a size, looks like 32, no. Yeah, 32 by 32. So these are a 32 by 32. These have the A on the back pockets, embroidered, full length with the hems. <laughs> and these are a dark wash as well. So like I said, I haven't sold Affliction jeans in forever. I have no clue what they're gonna bring. But anytime I see any of these brands, I'm gonna pick them up. Cause I know I'll at least make my money back. And then the last ones I found were another Rock Republic. These are Sebastian boot in a size 32. These jeans are so heavy, all that top stitching embroidery and the heavy rivets and the studs. So these are also cut off. And I knew this picking them up, like I said, still paid $10 for them. So hopefully I'm gonna at least double my money on these, I don't know. Otherwise they're in really good condition. Okay, let me get the jeans out of the way. Oh, they're so heavy. Then I found, I have never, I didn't even know Jam's World made flip-flops, but it kind of makes sense because it's Beachwear Hawaii. So I found some Jam's World flip-flops. They're a wedge. And these were, I forget what size they were. I know there's a size on here, I just forget where. I want to say they're a size 7, but I don't know. So they're in really good condition. I had to clean them up, of course because they were black, but now they're in good condition. So I don't know what those are gonna bring because I didn't even know they made them. Hopefully 30. They need a drink. Okay, then I found this. I have not found an ugly face mug in years. And this one is not only an ugly face mug, but it is the fire department. And it's bigger. It is huge. Look how big that is. Look, next to a venti. It's a big one. And it's not signed, unfortunately, but my guess is it's Mahone. But I'm still doing research. Really good condition. So I'm hoping for at least 50 for that because it's the fire department. If I can figure out the maker. So then I found some Torrid. Is this Torrid? I think so. Of course I have it upside down. Okay, this is Torrid in a size 2-3. Beautiful. Flocked velvet floral kimono with fringe sleeves, open front, Fringe him in excellent condition. Beautiful. This piece is beautiful. So I'm hoping for at least 50 for that, but I'll probably be sitting on it for a while. That's all right. I like looking at that. It's beautiful. <laughs> oh, what is all this? Okay. <laughs> like, oh, what else did I find? Okay, I found a fresh produce at a size small. Small, medium, just your basic t-shirt, v-neck, short sleeves, beautiful print, A-line silhouette, really lightweight. Oh, that might actually be asymmetrical. I don't know. Anyway, hopefully $20 for that. I found something in a bag. It must be important. Oh, it's sweaters. I try to keep the sweaters away from the jeans so they don't get pulled. Okay, so I found a zip front sweater vest by Woolrich in a women's medium. Beautiful fair isle print, full zip, solid back, in excellent condition, so hopefully at least 30 for that. This is amazing. Unfortunately, it has pilling, but it is still amazing. Okay, this is, I cannot see it. 
it is some llama wool company, but it's black on black and I'm not gonna be able to see it. It is this beautiful wool llama, probably llama wool. Another full zip, long sleeve sweater. Look at that print. That is so cute. And it's got the front pockets. So because it has pilling, I'm not sure. Oh, actually, I think this is alpaca wool. I don't know. Because of the pilling, I'm hoping for at least 35. <clears throat> then I found another, I can't find who it's by. Oh, nice. I think this is live and let live. Where is the tag? <laughs> so this is a blue velvet. Pretty print. It's got the embellished V neckline. Three, four sleeves. It's a sublimation print. In excellent condition. It has a lining. So hopefully that's going to bring at least 25. Then I found another sublimation piece. And this one is the Pyramid Collection. If you guys don't know, the Pyramid Collection is a catalog of like fantasy, medieval wear, and it's expensive, really expensive. So this is the Pyramid Collection. Can't remember what size it is, but it is this pretty sleeveless scoop neck dress. And then it has tiered ruffled hem. It's lined. It's got a sublimation print at the bottom. Perfect for the summer. It's got like a paisley print. The front is embroidered or embellished. All those studs. So I'm hoping for at least $30 for that, but I'll probably be sitting on it for a while. Then it looks like I found another dress. Okay. This one is by Serengeti, which is another expensive catalog in a size large. And it is another sleeveless dress, V-neck. It's got that really unique print on it with an animal print flare. And I think it's a midi. It's either a midi or a maxi. It's like Jersey knit. So hopefully that'll bring at least 30. A few more pieces. I saved the best one. Well, not the best one, but the unique one for last. So then I found some SpongeBob in an extra large. These are just uh, tie dye lounge sweatpants with SpongeBob and his friends. They're joggers. They have pockets and a waist tie. I'm not sure if these are men's or women's. They're probably unisex. So hopefully at least 25 for that. Then this looks like fresh produce. It is in a size medium. This is a dress, so <laughs> must have been a dress week. This is a V-neck surplice, <laughs> I don't know how to say that, with an empire waist in this pretty floral print. It's kind of like a turquoise blue. It's got a full skirt. It's also got side pockets. Is this lined? Hmm, no. So I usually do really well on the dresses if I can find out the style name and I have no clue what this one is but hopefully at least $25 for that. Now, the last item I found was this. I'm walking through the small thrift store and I look up on the top shelf and I see this. I'm like, oh, I gotta have that. Got to have it, didn't care. Problem is it's unbranded and it doesn't say leather. So this is probably faux leather. It's probably faux fur, but a zebra. It is a zebra train case. 
I mean, how cute is that? So it's got the buckle closure in excellent condition. It's got the mirror. Look, you can see that. It's got the mirror. And geez, I don't even know. This is going to be a pain to ship because it's heavy. But how cute. I couldn't leave it behind and he only charged me $3. So yes, please, all day long. So this can either be a train case, you can put your makeup in it, you can use storage. He thought it was a hat box, which a man would. Can't fit a hat in that, it's too, too short. So anyway, hopefully at least $25 for that. So that's my haul for the week. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing. And I'll see you guys on the next one.